Yo, what's good, everybody? I just got this uh, text, you know, in my 216-600-2090 text. If you guys, hey, listen, let me tell you something. If you guys have any stories to tell or any articles that you want me to look at or any any uh any news or anything like that yo send it all over to me man send it to me so i can get it at, i mean so i can get it in 216-600-2090 let's get into it what's up youtube welcome back to breaking truckers i saw the son at age what 60 he's just gonna break bad if you guys appreciate what i do over here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button and all the other buttons that show support for this channel let's do it no more wasting time Let's get it. Hold on. This come this this must that came from a Facebook group, and I'm not sure which one was it, but they they sent it to me to you know kind of like get my opinion, I guess, because I do have one, but also get some advice as well. All right, so let's get into it. It says, "So I'm with Prime. You guys know Prime, Prime Inc. out of Springfield, Missouri." One of the, I'll say one of the top 10 carriers that you can drive for. And going through the PSD phase. This is my second week and had my instructor since Sunday. Okay. Okay. And my instructor ain't even went over pre-trip with me yet. Hold up. Stop. Wait. Wait a minute. Your instructor haven't even went over pre-trip with you yet mm. okay and you say you've been with prime and this is your second week hmm now now i would imagine that if you and your psd phase getting your cdl right i'm assuming pre-trip was was in the itinerary of training before you got on the truck with your trainer now i understand that there is there is you know there is some missteps along the way that you probably might forget you know probably might forget what to check in the engine probably forget what the you know what to check on the trailer or whatever the case and i understand that okay now here's your instructor that hasn't even done that that's a red flag because that instructor is supposed to instruct you on what you're supposed to be looking for on the truck to make sure you have a proper pre-trip before you take off in the truck i'm just saying i'm just saying continue i drove across illinois and that was it we waited to get a load now and he's in the cab sleep stop right there okay okay bro this is sending so many red flags i can't even begin to tell you number one in the cab sleep number one bro the instructor's supposed to be up there and at, at least teaching you some things about what you're supposed to be looking for or about what you're supposed to be doing. You know, conversating with you or something like that. You have questions, he needs to answer them. He don't need to be in the back sleep. You know, with that time, like if y'all getting unloaded, talk to him about what you, what you need to do on the crawl comp. Talk to him what you need to do while you're at the shipper or receiver get a conversation going he can't be in the back sleep that's mm. at least teach me something right i agree teach you something i feel so left behind and just want to break down crying in this truck or cuss him out nah 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 I know you feel some kind of way. This is where you actually get on the phone with whoever you need to get in contact with and let them know that you're not learning anything. 
This instructor don't care about you. You're just meat in the seat. And you want to know what that means? They only have you in the seat just to benefit them. That's it. Because, see, they get paid for all the miles that you drive. They get paid for you being in their truck. They get paid just to have you there. So as long as you there, they getting paid. Now, they supposed to be training you, teaching you, making sure that you're doing things right. But in this particular instance, he's not doing nothing for you. Actually, what he's doing is setting you up for failure. That's what he's doing. Like MF, I got bills. Team drive with no CDL and no learning permit is not helping me. Please give me some encouraging words. Well, look, only encouraging words that I can give you right now is that you need to get off that truck. You need to get you you need to get with an instructor that instructs. Okay? That's what you need to do. You need to hurry up. You need to call somebody. You need to get a hold of whoever you need to get a hold to. Let them know that you need to be routed back to Springfield, Missouri, so that you can get on the truck with another instructor. Because this instructor is setting you up for failure. And you're not getting you're not getting nothing. You're not getting nothing out of being on his truck except for except for just being there for the for the instructor's benefit. That's it. That's all. That's all. If you can't if if you can't do that, then you're not gonna you you're not gonna succeed where you at. You're gonna you 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 wanna get off his truck without knowing without knowing nothing or anything what to do except for when you get off that truck and get on another truck you're gonna mess up somewhere down the line simply because this instructor didn't teach you anything so that's about it everybody what do you guys think leave it in the comments below what kind of what kind of encouraging words that you can give this person as far as uh what they you know day situation right now with prime and this is not only with prime it really isn't it's it's not even with prime it's with other companies as well because they get these instructors that only has like three months six months or something like that again like i said before it's like the blind leading the blind right now and they're not teaching you nothing but the only thing they the only thing they getting out of it is the benefit that you're in the truck because they get paid more for it. That's about it. I bet you this guy was I bet you this guy was a lease driver, wasn't he? I bet you he was. You know, because those lease drivers over there loves to be trainers. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, anyway, that's gonna do it. Uh, if you guys, again, have any stories to tell or any news or any articles that you want to send over to me, hit me up, 216-600-2090. Until next time, everybody, y'all stay tuned for the next podcast. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart got bars, you got bops. Red, red, and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I wanna make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, bum, bum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.